So hi everyone. There has been a revolutionary release in the field of AI yesterday where a model can now generate an entire video game which is playable as well. So that's the best part. So here you can see in the short video that is running different gameplays that you can play around. There are different environments and everything is getting generated by AI. That's the best part that too in real time and you can take actions also. So you can move, you can jump. Basic actions are provided in the game and the demo is live as well and the model waits and everything is open source so you can run in your local system also with the model weights given. So let's get started. Let's try to understand how this works. This the demo looks quite good given it is first of its kind model where everything is getting generated by AI and you're playing it as well. Now here you can see that they have provided everything the blog. The codes are also available, model weights and etched blocks. So this is coming from Descartes and etched and you can play the demo here. The game looks something like this only. So I will in the end we will see uh, how the game works. We are excited to announce OSS the first playable real time open world AI model. It's a video game but entirely generated by AI. This is crazingly good. So if you remember a few days back Google came up with a model called as game engine which was able to generate gameplay videos uh, but not entire playable game. So I think this is a major major step. Here you can see that the most interesting part is the model weights are just 500 million parameters so it's not that huge. And what are the different actions you can take? You can move, jump, pick up items, break blocks and more. There is no game engine just a foundational model. This is crazingly good. Now here you can see that in different environments how it performs. So they have provided multiple environments as well. As you can see, the quality is not great, but I think given the first attempt, it's just amazing. If you check this, then one in desert. The games are not with HD gameplay, but I think it's it's given the starting. I would have taken it any day because now you don't require any software to generate games. It's just one machine learning model and your games are getting generated and this is one so these are all different environment options that the team has given that we will see later placing non cube blocks here you can see that it is doing some actions also model understands lighting physics interacting with animals recovering health when eating oh this is just amazing i think they have given multiple options also so it is taking multiple actions it is not just moving and jumping but it can do a lot of stuff as well OSS understands complex game mechanics such as building lighting physics inventory management object understanding and a lot more shovel is faster than hands so it is able to use shovel also when required this is very interesting Space like dark location, OSS renders at night, placing a range of objects, OSS lets users open inventory chest. So these are basic elements that they are able to add in the game itself and it looks great to me. Because these things are very very complex. Exciting animals and NPCs. NPCs are basically non-playable characters. So in any game do you have certain robotic elements present bots you might be knowing i think these are npcs so the player is able to interact with npcs also quite good quite impressive now talking about the architecture something of our interest it has a auto encoder latent diffusion backbone both are transformer based and the auto encoder is based on vit and the backbone is based on dit so i think dit is something that you might be hearing a lot diffusion transformer so diffusions are usually based on diffusion models earlier were based on unit but now they are transforming back to transformer so they are not trying to implement the idea of diffusion using transformer contrasting from recent action condition world models like game engine as i already told you in diamond we chose transformer to ensure stable predictable scaling so as i already told you game engine was released a few days back which was able to generate gameplay but now it is able to generate everything so as they are mentioning, they have found some issues. Temporal stability, making sure the model output makes sense over long time horizons. 
in auto regressive models error compound and small imperfections can quickly snowball into glitched framework so if you know what is an auto regressive framework model it's basically uses the previous outputs to generate the next output now as they're mentioning if there is a small error but and that comes in the first frame it will slowly creep into the other frames and if you're generating a 20th frame the error will start compounding and the 20th frame would be completely trash so this is something that they have mentioned that this was a major issue and they have solved it by deploying dynamic denoising here you can see that we are not jumping into much of the complications but uh, assume it to be a basic introduction to oss we would be covering this particular thing in detail in our upcoming videos and blogs so these are the video model throughput mochi one runway and oss frames per second is huge this is a major breakthrough as you can see if you have heard of runway gen 3 and mochi one mochi one has recently came for text to video generation the frames per second generated is humongous about 24 25 frames per second generated where compared to less than five for the state of the art models So now they are mentioning what are the different issues, struggles with domain generalization, limited memory over long horizons, difficulty with precise inventory control, difficulty with precise object control, precision would be mis uh, missing, I understood fuzziness of distant sand. These are all the examples they have given and mentioning what are the issues present in the current game. But I think it's crazingly good and I think the idea I was assuming that this was round the corner for a very long time after Google released Game Engine and as assumed this came in way earlier as expected but generating an entire video game using just AI model is something that uh, I am very excited about. The All the codes are present. Let's see the GitHub repo as well before we now, jump on to the game. Here you can see that it is developed by Descartes and Edge and they are given all the details about how to set it up. So you need to git clone this particular repo. Download weights from open a hugging face CLI and then just run python generate.py the resulting video will be saved to video.mp4 here are some examples of a generation from this 500 million model so here you can see that these are the results generated I think the model size is also small so you can try it into your local system as well I hope you try out running OSS because this is revolutionary to be honest because nothing has came around this where you are generating an entire playable video game using AI. So let's get started with the demo and let's check out how the game performs. So here you can see that they are giving a statement as well. It is one of its kind video model, a game engine trained by millions of game players. So here you can see that there are different environments also that are playable you can choose any map and that shall get loaded so let's try out with the desert exercise The game is a little glitchy as I can see, but I think it's worth giving a try. When I'm taking an action, it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to revert back. It is able to pick up an object as well. Now I'm able to see around me as well using the cursor. Again, it's not state of the art gaming, but I would still take it any day because it looks great. And if someone tells you that it is not getting generated by any sophisticated software I think you would also take it up so it looks amazing I think it's worth giving a time right now the demo is limited time for everyone so we'll be just skipping it here but I think the game looks amazing worth giving a try uh, free to use the models are free you can download the gameplay share it as well play again whatever you wish to do now let's try out rugged coastline
as you can see i'm trying to move the player but again it's not it is able to now run as you can see let me try jumping as well yeah it is able to jump as well as you can see this is a different environment that we have picked up if i check the inventory so these are the different elements present again the game is not fully hd but and i think i would take it any day i'm not able to see in front it is moving a little slowly but still yeah, yeah. i'm able to so as you can understand as i'm taking any single action my environment is changing and this is because it's an ai model that taking charge of everything now as you can see some green land is coming some water areas are also coming so this is entirely generated by ai so it's not programmed and that is why the quality of the image is also not great but i think for a video game of this status that can be generated without a software is something commendable yeah different horizons are coming as you can see now i'm able to look front as well i'm trying to move around good good stuff so let's end this game you can download you can share the gameplay looks nice 